Hello, welcome to Top of the World. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to my madness. See the snow? You can see the snow. Right, we can see that. What did I do today? And you can hear the birds. Well, I took the tractor and trailer and I drove it two miles, two miles, two hours, to the site where it's got to be. It was slow and slightly stressful. So one of the tyres, the inner ribs or something's torn apart and it's got a bubble in it. So, so you're going down the road like this. And I'm, anyway, I stopped regularly and it went down there and it's real smooth. Now, the engine's smooth, use no diesel. It's on site, it's really exciting. Tomorrow's gonna be the first day on site. We're gonna learn how to use it. And uh, hopefully everything holds together. So I'm probably not gonna sleep very well. But on the, on the question of sleeping, I left the shop, which is just in front of me, at 23.20. It's probably about 23.30 now. That's our past 11 at night. Our past 11 at night. Snow is still very clearly on the ground. Will it still be light at midnight? Oh yeah. We haven't had a proper darkness now for a few days. Anyway, so uh, yeah, we'll see you in the morning. So did the inevitable happen during the first day of work with the machine? Yes, it did. 
We all knew the hoses were going to blow. It was all a question of how long until they blew. Well, we moved all that stuff around and uh, you can see there, I actually had to remove this hose. So one hose on the claw completely burst and the other one's leaking. So we've been to town this morning. It's still early, but we've been to town this morning and got two replacement hoses for that. I've got another hose up here that burst completely and you can see oil all running down there. Now we've got a problem. We've got a problem with all the hoses. I wanted to replace all the hoses because you can see, you know, we know where we're going with this. However, and I can see different connectors in there. And that one's different as well. However, if you don't know anything about hydraulic hoses, even if you do know about anything about hydraulic hoses, there are so many different sizes and connectors and, and um, does the back of my van look like a service van? Yes, it does. Right, so. What I've done is I've got the two hoses to match the one that I took off the grip. That's them two. Right? However, these others, let's see if I can explain this that makes any sense. These others, there are so many different sizes and types and bores diameters that without taking the hoses off, there's no way of telling exactly what's what. So what I've done is I've got him to make up this hose, which replaces the burst one because it's stuck where it is, can't go nowhere. And I've got a connector in case it's different. But what I really need to do is, in an ideal world, it would have been to take all the hoses off and, and give them to him so he can but I'm looking at these now, right? And these have all had or got various adapters. So that means these are not the original hoses. Not that I could believe they would be after all this time or some of them have been changed anyway. That's the original hose there. That one underneath there is the original hose. This one and this one, this one and the one on the other side have been made up later. You know, you know, you know what's going to happen. Anyway. I'm going to change what I can and see if we can't get it operational again, because we, we need to get on. But, um, yeah, how's it? So I knew this was going to happen. It's a very fine balance. And the sad thing is, because I had to buy more oil, and he said the hoses are cheaper than the oil. Yeah, but I'm... You know what it's like, you, uh, I'm balancing it. I don't like retrospectively fixing something. You know, preventative maintenance is far better than repair. Anyway, you know where we are with us. We're gonna change out these hoses and see if we can't get it operational again. All right. So some things worked and some things definitely didn't work. So the new hoses on the grip, they work nice. We have new hoses. However, the one hose that I got with the different connections that we guessed on to replace the hose that's burst didn't work and I couldn't make it work. So that leaves me with a big problem. Now I've driven to town early this morning, I've come all the way back and we still can't operate. So that means in order to get the right hose, I've got to take a hose off. So I had to make an executive decision which is one I couldn't make when I should have made it, when it was in the yard. And that is to go to town, take off the hoses I need and talk to the man. So I talked to the man and I told him uh, the hoses were so bad and I showed him a picture and he said, as soon as you pick up something heavy, he said, they're gonna burst. And then the crane is gonna come crashing down then there's gonna be an accident. And I know this, obviously I know this. He said, uh, he said, but you, 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 you're a bit tight on, on the money side. And I'm like, well, yeah, otherwise I'd have just done it. He said, uh, 
He said, okay. He said, I'll make the houses that you want. He said, and then I'll give you a factura and you can pay on 30 days. Um, invoice, invoice, factura, invoice. And that gives me 30 days to sort it out. So, there we have all the houses. We have these four houses running up to here. We have the two long houses that run over. And then we have the new houses coming down the back there. So we have all the houses on the top. That's not all the houses. There's houses down there for the steering. Um, and there's some for the twist. But these houses have been better protected. And they're not bad. So, thank you to that man. We're going to renew all these houses. Because uh, we, we picked up a few little sticks. And you can see the ones there are quite small. But you can also see the really big ones. And... Um, we don't need an accident. We haven't got time for all this. So let's just replace the houses. And uh, that way we're not leaking oil. We're not contaminating the ground. We're not costing ourselves more money. And, 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 and. So let's replace the houses. All right. It's a few hours later. Job done. Everything is new. Everything is new. Everything is new. Everything is new. New there. All new up there. All coming down. So, in all, I've only done half the houses on this tractor, but four of them, um, two of them are steer, one is pump and one is return. In addition to that, there's five houses on here that I've not done and they control the legs and the steering and none of those are going to cause an accident and none of those are split or damaged like any of these because they've been protected because they're down the bottom. So I've only done the arm and anything that's to do with something that's likely to kill me, maim me or smash something and to stop all the oil leaks. So I've topped it back up with oil and now I'm going to run it up and see if we can't get back to work.
How can you tell you're a real frostback that you're cold-blooded? Because you're down to the underwear and there's still snow on the ground. Right, so how did we do? Good. Has that solved all the leaks? Yeah, all but one. So, no leaks. All right, all new hoses everywhere. What I have got is on this knuckle, when that arm is fully extended, it leaks and it's leaking from the cylinder. So there's a cylinder seal gone there, but it only leaks and it only leaks on full extension when the cylinder is fully retracted. So I suspect that's a seal. If you don't fully extend the arm, as in almost, but just don't give it that extra bit, don't leak. So uh, yeah, I guess that's not bad considering we didn't start the tractor until 13.30. It's now 14.30. What I've got on the trailer there, I think that's the equivalent to three sleds. And some of that's reasonably big. I don't lift nothing yet. Nothing at all. How's your back, Simon? Perfect. Same as it was this morning. Amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing. I am just so thrilled. Tractor is just doing everything it should. It's just a good day. And now we're going home. And then uh, we'll do it all again tomorrow. So what I'm doing is I'm just hauling back firewood for a minute and I'm going to put all the boarding material to one side because that's got to go on the bigger trailer because obviously I need the lengths. Um, but anyway, if I haul a load like that home with me every day of firewood, that gives it back. So it's been a successful first two days, really. The first day... You know, I learned how to use the machine and uh, lost a lot of oil and blew a hose in the end. And second day, I spent half the day, more than half the day, driving backwards and forwards to get the hose sorted out. And the last half of the day, filling a trailer up and uh, knowing that everything is good. So for the first two days on site, I'm, I'm chuffed. I know how to lift nothing. Anyway, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, consider it. Don't cost you nothing. Really helps me out. And... Uh, We'll catch you all on the next one. Bye for now.